How is it going everybody? Welcome back to Unpay Rentals and today we are continuing. It's always sunny as we usually do majority of every day. You know the past couple days I've been uploading movie reactions. I did two. I did Leave the World Behind Us and I did Indiana Jones. Two very long movies. Like not even kidding guys. I probably spent I'm not even exaggerating. I probably spent almost 12 hours editing Indiana Jones no that's not true i probably spent at least maybe nine actually but still it took me a long time to do indian jones so that's why we didn't have a video that day and leave the world behind us took me a long time too but not as long but uh anyway i'm very excited for it's always sunny and i, I will say it is nice to take a break from always sunny because i'm like i'm getting a little bit fatigued from like watching it every single day like it's kind of like just a overwhelming just always sunny all the time it's just it's it's a little bit annoying just a little bit um but like it's i i love i like the show like i really like the show so it's like it's not that big of a hassle it's just like oh it, it's almost coming like a chore if that makes any sense but uh that aside we are watching another episode today because i'm very excited i've been i've kind of been missing watching the show since i haven't watched the show in i think like two days for me but uh anyway yeah sorry this is a long intro but uh <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction hope you guys enjoyed the video shout out for the members because you guys are amazing uh i believe not this episode but i have a i have a surprise video for you guys today that will be the i think it will be the first um it's the first video that i release for the members that is uncut unedited so that will be really exciting i'm really excited to do that one uh it's just it's something simple but it's you know if you guys are willing to join the membership program you guys get to see what that possibly is but anyway let's you guys have been doing like so amazing recently with subscribing liking sharing you guys are just really incredible but you know the new year is coming around and yeah i, I have a i have a i have a little goal for this channel to reach i want to hit a thousand subs before the new year which i mean you know it is the 16th we are cutting it really close but i really do think we could do it if you guys just do me a favor hit subscribe and share out get other people to subscribe see the content that we have on the channel the amazingness that we have going on here this intro has gone for so long so we're just going to roll the bumper unpaid rental unpaid rental unpaid rental <laughs> doing in that crawl space charlie well uh, for starters i was minding my own business and I'd do a little light reading and then i was putting some cheese in the rat traps you're putting the cheese in the rat traps yes can i smell your, can mouth? I smell your mouth you were eating the cheese weren't you Out eating the, the cheese no. <laughs> well, yes I mean, I was the old cheese. ew just charlie why are you always doing such weird things charlie i do weird things Name another thing that you think is weird. Well, I caught you stealing a bunch of coins out of the fountain at Logan Circle. Uh, I was acquiring a little bit of cash to pay my spy, D. Uh, Why do you have a spy? Uh, spy the waitress. Of course I have a spy. Is that normal? That oh, is I'm not sure. normal. Hey, no. <laughs> guys, what book you keep going on and on it's, about? Whoa. These are my, these are my memoirs. Charlie, you found my book. I wrote a memoirs. Hey, guys, Charlie found my memoirs. Your memoirs. What are you talking about? I track of all my sexual exploits and I was going to unleash them on the world in a fiery blaze of eroticism. Well, uh, okay. That's amazing. That's good stuff, right? Yeah. But then one day the book just sort of went mysteriously missing. Charlie, what the hell were you doing? <laughs> well, uh, since he can't read, I'm guessing he was masturbating to your picture. God, oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> why are you doing this? You've been riding me, now you're accusing me of things? You just don't get it. You don't know why I do the things that I do. So you don't know how hard I got it, D. You got it pretty tough. Your oh, life is pretty hard. Oh, my God, D. walk a mile in my shoes, huh? Try your old buddy Charlie on for size. You want me to walk a mile in your yeah. shoes because I can't handle your big, tough life? I will. That sounds fun. I'd love to see this. That. Oh, my God, shut up. Hey, I'm interested in that, actually. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Erotic life. Dennis Reynolds, an erotic life. Okay. I, I'm... I really want to see more with the Charlie and uh D thing going on because I think that's really that would be really funny. But uh, uh I'm not saying I don't like Dennis. God, he is just so so uh, he he's so full of himself that it's not like geez, it, it's so hard to watch him sometimes. It really is like damn, man, just get it over yourself for once, just once. Taught nubile. What the fuck? <laughs> She was much, much older than me, but her breasts. Fred Savage, huh? I felt reborn, baptized in erotic majesty. What the hell? 
Yeah. <laughs> some sweet smut. Yeah. I'm all boned up over here. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm gonna sell the book, okay? But I'm not gonna let you guys be involved because every time you're involved, you get all excited about something and then you give up the minute we hit the first speed bump. That's true. That is true. Half the stories you just read us are total bullshit. They're not bullshit. What are you saying? Dennis, you were never the personal sexual advisor to John Bon Jovi. <laughs> up in a rehab facility with the wounds of Christ miraculously appearing on your hands and feet. Yeah, man, but I did. I banged that girl in the fountain. That oh, my God. True the hot <laughs> we take some of the really good stories, you know, the John Bon Jovi, the Christ wound stigmatas. Okay. And we recreate them. We make them true so that people can't prove that they didn't happen. We okay. God, recreate some of the better stories in here, and then we have proof. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I really have to sleep here. Yeah, D. I walk a mile in my shoes. This is a pretty big part of that mile, don't you think? Now here, put these on. No, I don't want to wear one of your dirty sleeping outfits. Uh, I'm sorry, D, but my outfits, as you like to call them, serve a very specific purpose, all right? I don't have any heating ducts in this apartment. It gets freezing in here at night, all right? Now, in case you have to pee pee, I got this for you, all right? You, you... Oh! oh my God! God damn it! That's... Where's I supposed to empty that? Charlie, no wonder That's so it's nasty. In here. You have open cans of pee everywhere. Well, I'm sorry, but you do not want to use that bathroom. Okay, now eat one of these, all right? You're going to want to huff a little glue and drink some beer. This is cat food, Charlie. Oh, well, gee, I can't explain it, all right? It's just a weird <laughs> reaction that happens when you combine cat food, beer, and glue. It makes you feel like extremely sick and tired, and you're able to fall asleep. Why would I want to make myself extremely sick and tired? Because there's going to be about 50 cats howling outside that window all night long, and you have no idea how loud 50 cats can be. Okay, maybe there wouldn't be cats If you didn't have there. fucking you cat food. Yeah, yeah, dude. I heard 50 cats howling outside my window because I have 10,000 rats running around my building, dude, right, okay? Stop yelling. You're I'm not an idiot. There's on a me. reason to do the things that I... Oh. I'm just starting, right? I'm trying. <laughs> I started wolfing that shit down. <laughs> I gotta go sleep. <laughs> I love this. It's so funny. Ew, man. That's so fucking nasty. This is so funny. Like, I, I love this. Oh, that's so annoying. I'd be so fucking pissed. Oh my god. Why I love how there's a heartbeat in the background. This is yeah. This is awesome. This is a Honestly, this is kind of like good directing right here. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> how many times are we going to do the shining girls? <laughs> Ew, man, the, the cat food is just so raunchy. There's, there's evil twins in the in the hallway and a twitching junkie in the- What? How much of that glue did you have? <laughs> Not as much as you did. As much as me? Really? Well, that's probably way too much glue for you, That's Eddie. probably you way too much glue. You just had yourself a glue OD, and those are pretty regular in my life, so you learned another lesson. Okay. Don't do too much glue. The plan is simple. You're gonna hang out at the rehab facility for a couple of days while we get the ball rolling with Bon Jovi. A little skeptical about you guys being able to get in touch with yeah. John Bon Jovi. Yeah. What? What do you mean? He's from New Jersey. Piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Let's talk stigmatas. Ooh, yeah. uh, right. Do we have to do the stigmatas? Brought a nail gun. Oh, dude. Oh, is that what that is? No, yeah. no, no, no. Look, you're not gonna shoot nails at me. No, okay? I think a couple of severe burns from the cigar is what's yeah. gonna do the trick. Yeah, that's probably better. If you guys really want to do the stigmata. Oh my God. What? This guy is no, he's great. not. Uh, do you come here every night? Every night, huh? This is great. Hey, do they have food too? Because I could go for some food. No, what no, no, no or... food. I don't eat while I'm here. Oh, when do you eat? I don't. Uh, <laughs> why don't you eat dinner? Do you gotta eat dinner sometime? Because when you perform, your nerves make you dry heave, and you better hope that you don't have any food in your stomach. Now this next lady, you all know because she's here almost every night. <laughs> Let's hope she's got some new jokes this oh, time. Oh, that's embarrassing. Everybody, put your hands together for Deandra Reynolds. Yikes! That's I. I don't like this. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Stop. I don't like it. What's the deal with those hands-free headsets that everybody's wearing in their ears, right? <laughs> oh. Dude, I don't like this. I'll, I don't like this. Everybody I look at me. I'm one part robot and three parts asshole. <laughs> that's, that's actually funny. <laughs> three parts asshole. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> that's great. Dude, I can't. <laughs> what are you doing to yourself? That is terrible. Why would you yeah. do that? Oh, 
is it funny? You better get ready, guy, because you're next. Hey, Charlie could be good. Hey, guys, you ever eat cheese? Cheese is a funny thing. Cheese is a strange thing. I, I always wonder, like, where, what is cheese? Where does it go? Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> the audio to even match with his lips. <laughs> it's so funny. How to get used in a rehab. Let's start stigmatis. You need deep wounds in a rehab. Rehab. Yo, punk. Hey, it's Sinbad. <laughs> you know what? My name is Sinbad. This is Sinbad's house. house. When you're in Sinbad's house, you my bitch. <laughs> Rob Thomas. Matchbox oh, 20. Oh, shit. Sing a song. Shut up. That's crazy. Matchbox 20. Ooh. Oh, you oh. the man, huh? You gonna punk him like that? No, no, no. Stay back, man. No. Matter of fact, unleash. Unleash the Dude, fury. What? Beat his testicle. Ah. Look, Fucking man, crazy. I'm pretty confused about what I'm seeing here, and I'm in a lot of pain. I just don't know what's going on. I know you're hurting like that. My bad, because I've hurt before. You've hurt before. We all hurt. So I'm going to just bring you down. I introduced myself right. That was wrong. I'm saying, man, this is my headshot. This is my headshot. I'll be autographed for you a little later on. And this is Sinbad's house. And you're my bitch. And I'm going to show you how you're coming. Man, he keep throwing his shoe. He crazy. He crazy. Okay, well, let's go. Everybody should be in bed with the lights. He's trying to go, so he keep throwing shoes at us. Shut up. Man, I'll poke you What the fuck? This is a new, this one around town. I'm really liking this episode. This one's really funny. He owns the Philadelphia Soul, the arena football team. I just offered to buy it. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to pretend that I have terminal cancer and get him to do an acoustic set on my deathbed. Why? Wait, wait, wait. Why? Why don't you do that? You don't have to do that. No, it's great, bro. Rock stars do the cancer kid thing all the time. You're not a kid. Sorry, that's a stupid idea, and I don't want you to do it. Well, I already got a bald cap guy in uh, You're yeah. just confusing everything. There's nothing confusing about it, Frank. It's very, very simple. Shut up. Shut your big mouth. Right now, I re I will put my foot down right now. You are not going in there with that cancer thing. I don't care what you say. So get it out of your head. Okay. Jesus, yeah, dude. dude. I won't do the cancer. Fiddle your fingers. Yeah, I I, I know you're nice. scared right now. You are interested in buying our arena football team. Big time. But I want to do business with the Mr. Von Joni. John himself. Boney. Bon Jovi. Okay. I'm a little confused as to why you've chosen to involve uh, this gentleman here. Well, if I may, I'd like to explain to you why I'm here. Uh, Ma'am, I am dying of very terminal cancer, and I would like to request a private bedside concert from Mr. Bon Jovi. Uh, mm. don't, I'm please don't up. listen to anything he says. No, no. I'll give no, you Frank, $60 Frank, million. Thank you. Dollars Frank, for Frank you. He said got, Frank you. <laughs> Nobody cares We're about arena football anymore. You're not negotiating shit. We're on to the cancer dude, thing now, and that is the Dude, Mac, you ruin everything, dude. Okay, I don't think you have cancer. What? What are you, what are you talking about? No, that's... That's chemo. That's, That's chemo. chemo. Right there. And for the record, <laughs> when you go through chemo, your beard hair falls out too. But then it was working until you got in with the You're so numbers. annoying. You know, I'm not even really bald. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so annoying. <laughs> Who talks like this? Yeah, the honestly. Theater? Hey. Hey, you don't know how hard I got it, pal. You don't know how tough it is being me. Oh, God. What? It's not that tough to be you, Frank. What is so difficult about your life? Hey, try walking a mile in my shoes once in a while and then talk to me. Our eyes locked, our hands touched, and she whispered in my ear, Dude, your balls totally ruined. <laughs> this is going to stop. Take his book, Rob. Whoa, whoa, wait. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Man, I was just in the middle of some really erotic stuff. You know what? You don't write it, bitch. I'll write it. What is your problem, Sinbad? <laughs> you think you Jesus? You think you Jesus? Ain't no Jesus here. Except me. I'm what the hell? Oh, what the hell, man? That, you stole my thing. Big, it's my thing now. Took it. Bam, <laughs> Fine, but what does Rob Thomas have to do with any of this? He do whatever I tell him to because he's my bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Why do you come to the fountain? The fountain's my thing, D. Well, I'll tell you why I come to the fountain, Charlie. I come here every single day to throw money into this thing to wish for a better life. Money that you apparently steal for spies. Okay, so essentially, Charlie, you're stealing my dreams, and if you don't mind, I'm gonna get those dreams back now. What? That's oh, my spy coin. And that's my money. Guys, you guys are both dumb for this. You better not lose your hair because you're an ugly bull. <laughs> you're as ugly as you, bitch. That <laughs> ugly as you, here? bitch. This is the time of day when I come to the fountain. So why wait until this time of day and come back and piss in the fountain? Oh, yeah, Charlie yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. D! What are you doing? I'm taking my dreams back! <laughs> what are you guys doing? Frank's gonna piss in the fountain. <laughs> time out. Ew. You see that piss in the fountain? Why was that? You're in it. Hey, Dennis! What's up, buddy? Come here. I use the fountain 
for its healing powers. Plus, it does wonders for my skin. But that's, that's not important right now. You're not gonna believe this. Sinbad was trying to kill me. The lead singer of Matchbox 20. He was in there too. Is any of that making sense? Nope. No. Oh, it's a timeout, timeout, timeout. Did you or did you not meet Sinbad? Yeah, I met Sinbad. I'm a huge Sinbad fan. I have all his tapes. Sinbad is not the man that you think he is. Oh, he's not carrying you. I am not. <laughs> I'm going to meet him. I hope he's wearing something made out of windbreak. <laughs> What the hell is this? It's the rehab um, center. Um, no, that's not the rehab center. That's the rehab center. Well, well, this is where they brought me after you guys dropped me off. Um. So like. What are you talking about? Like, what is this place, dude? Hey. Oh hell no. We told you not to come back here, freak. W where's Sinbad? Bro, you call me Sinbad. One Wait, more what time. happened? I'll knock you out. This dude broke in here and has been running around ranting and raving about memoirs and Sinbad. You thought that dude was Sinbad. Maybe that's that good. blow to the head did a little more yeah. damage than you thought. That's make... not Sinbad, dude. I know that's not Sinbad. Is this some sort of sick fantasy? No, it's not a fantasy. I didn't make it up. Sinbad was here, I swear. I can't believe you didn't meet Sinbad. Do you don't realize how excited I was to meet Sinbad? God Sinbad's damn hilarious. It. <laughs> that guy's like some dude in green pants. No, you uh, don't. <laughs> is this like memento is it is this taking is this is this supposed to be like memento yeah i should definitely, should definitely see, a doctor. see a doctor man oh my god what an episode like that was such a great episode i love that so much i had so much fun with that i'm like i enjoyed that one a lot a lot that was a really funny episode. I loved everything about that episode. I wish... I wish the stories were separate, you know? I wish that we spent time with Dee and Charlie, you know, living each other's lives more. I wish that, like, that was a whole episode. And then I wish we had a whole episode of, you know, Dennis in the in the rehab facility, which was all in his mind. I thought those were two really great concepts. And I, I wish they were separated, but yeah really funny shit like that that was incredible i haven't laughed that hard in a while i feel like i see this is why <laughs> i did take that uh that break from sunny because like you know you can get just like not overstimulated but you know you can just have too much of something and at that point you know a couple days ago i was just at too much because we were watching sunny almost every single day and uh just I, all i needed was just like a day maybe two days break and i'm back and that was hilarious that was exactly I'm, I'm so happy that that was the episode i came back to that was so good that was so good but yeah i really don't have that much of a uh of a, a review or an outro to do let's just you know shout out to the members you guys are awesome thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and you guys could also support the channel if you guys become a member description in what you guys can also become a member with the link in the description you can read up on it and figure out the tiers and you know if you're interested in it at all but uh, yeah i'm gonna leave you guys here i have another video to record and edit so there's a lot to do today i'll catch you guys next time peace out